Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Underdrive pulleys have always been a popular way to add a few extra horsepower to your Mustang. Basically what they do is underdrive your accessories. By doing that, it slows down the parasitic drag on your engine and in turn creates horsepower. We've already done quite a few basic bolt-ons to our 2003 Mustang GT. Today we're going to continue that trend by installing these Steeda underdrive pulleys. The underdrive pulley set consists of a water pump pulley, an alternator pulley, in the case of the Steed, a completely new crankshaft damper. There's a lot of kits on the market that just use a bolt-on pulley, which isn't as safe as using an entirely new SFI-approved damper, so we're going to go with that with our installation. You can use all your factory hardware with the exception of this bolt. This is designed just to get the crank pulley started before reinstalling the factory bolt, which we'll explain during the installation. This particular kit is going to fit your mid-2001 through 2004 two-valve GT. The installation for the 96 through mid-01 is exactly the same, but the difference is the water pump pulley. If your factory water pump pulley is concave like this aftermarket pulley is, that's going to use the mid-01 and up style. If it's actually higher up where the bolts are actually extended beyond the face, that's going to be the 96 through early 01 style. For this installation, you'll need a lift or a jack and jack stands, impact gun, half inch ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, 24 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter deep socket, 18 millimeter deep socket, 10 millimeter socket, swivel, torque wrench, and a pulley puller. I'm going to be replacing the alternator pulley, the water pump pulley, and then the crankshaft damper. We're going to start by loosening up the pulleys, then take the belt, and then go underneath the car to remove the damper. Now we'll loosen the water pump bolts. Now you can use a 3 8 ratchet to remove tension from the tensioner. And just slide off the alternator pulley. You can remove the bolts and remove our water pump pulley as well. Now you can install your new alternator underdrive pulley. You want to take a look in the center of the pulley. Sometimes when they get powder coated, powder coat gets in there and may not slide over the alternator easily. If you have to, just clean that out first, then it'll slide right on. I'm going to install the Steeda water pump pulley. Just make them hand tight and make sure you remember to tighten them back up once you put the belt back on. Now we can move under the car. Now we're going to remove the bolt that holds on our harmonic balancer. If you have an automatic transmission car, you'll have to actually hold the torque converter so the engine doesn't spin. On a six shift car, you can simply put a wrench up in there and remove it. To remove the crankshaft damper, you will need a puller. These are available pretty inexpensively at any parts store. You can also rent them in a lot of places. Before you try to remove the crank pulley, a lot of times it's easier to put the factory bolt only back in, and we can push against that to pull off the pulley. Once you get the crank dampener off, then go back and remove the bolt. Here you can see this applied steel bolt next to the factory bolt. This bolt is just to get the crank pulley started. You want to use it to get it seated. Once it's seated, you're going to remove this and reinstall the factory bolt. Before you install the new crankshaft damper, you want to put a dab of a high silicone gasket sealant right inside the keyway. Line the keyway up. Again, use the original washer and the Steeda supplied bolt. Now we can start to tighten it down. You'll see the pulley start to walk on towards the block. Once you get in a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch, you can remove this bolt reinstall the factory bolt. 
Now we're gonna install the factory bolt with the factory washer. Make sure you get a bunch of threads and know it's right. Once you get the factory bolt threaded in, you'll wanna grab your torque wrench. Ford revised the torque specs for the crank. The new torque spec for 98 through 2003 is tightened to 66 foot-pounds, one full rotation loose, then retighten to 37 foot-pounds and a quarter rotation tight. You want to get the belt roughly back in place where it's going to go. Now we'll go up top, release tension from the tensioner, and put the belt in place. Make sure everything is seated on the pulleys where it needs to go. Now I want to put tension back on the belt and make sure everything's lined up where it belongs. Now we can tighten down our water pump bolts. And your installation's finished. Underdrive pulleys are a great way to add some extra horsepower without any real side effects. In the case of this install, I would suggest keeping your stock pulleys though. A lot of times when you upgrade, people throw the stock parts away. In the case of this, if you would ever go with a centrifugal supercharger, you're going to need your stock pulleys back. Installation is pretty straightforward, it should only take you around an hour, so you'll be back on the road in no time.